Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today I want to show you Zinio for the iPad. Zinio allows you to read magazines on your iPad. Let's take a look at the app now. You launch the app, and it plays a small interactive graphic at launch. I don't know why that's there. I kind of wish it just launched into the app, but it takes a second to load. And once it does, you'll have three tabs at the bottom. One is a featured tab, which shows you some featured magazines that they're currently showing. The second is your library of magazines. And the third is the shopping category. So let's first show you the shopping category. This is where you can go in and purchase magazines. You can buy individual magazines or a subscription to the entire magazine. They have it broken down in two categories. You see that along the left-hand side. The one thing that I have been unable to find here is any way to search. You actually have to go through and manually look at each category. So I'm a big fan of Mac and Apple, of course. They have a science and tech category, which is then broken out into different categories, and one happens to be Mac. So here are all the Mac-related magazines that they have. They have iPhone Life, they have Mac World, they have um, some Spanish ones, some UK ones, iPhone 3GS, etc. When you want to click on a magazine to purchase it, you simply tap on the magazine, and it'll show you both the individual price, which is in this case $6.99, and then the entire year for $19.97. Yeah, it's much more economical to buy the entire subscription. So you can purchase magazines two ways. You can purchase them right here on the iPad, or you can go to the Zinio website and purchase them there. Kind of like you do with the Kindle, if you're familiar with that. Wherever you purchase it, just know that it automatically will get downloaded to the app once you open it. So let's go back. I've already purchased some, and I'll show you what they actually look like when you download them. So it comes with a bunch of sample magazines. Um, the one thing that I found kind of disappointing about the app is there's no way to remove these samples from the app itself. They always stay archived. Now here's the key, though, with that. You actually have to download a magazine to read it. So all these magazines right here are just kind of like cover pages. If I want to actually download one, I actually have to tap on it and it will download. If you can see here, if I zoom in, I don't know if I'll lose focus, but I'll try to zoom in here for you guys. There's a little icon right there next to the date. That's actually the download button. That means that this magazine has not yet been downloaded. If you look at Macworld, you can see I actually have already downloaded that. So although the cover pages stay in your app forever, it doesn't mean that the magazine is in there taking up space. Still, it's just a pet peeve. I'd rather not have to look at these magazines that I never purchase and don't want um, every time I open up the app. But that's kind of a side you know, issue. So you can view your magazines by both date and by title. Here I have it sorted by date. You can also view on the month. You can click on different months, all or the year. And then you can also view by title, which actually separates them out into you know, the different titles. And then they're kind of stacked on top of each other. So for example, here I have two copies of Macworld, you know, one from May and one from April. So when it comes time to look at a magazine, all you do is simply tap on it and the magazine launches. Now I'm already in the magazine, so let me scroll back to the bottom and you can see here all the different pages. If you want a quick jump to a front, the front of the magazine or anywhere in it, all you have to do is scroll to that position and then tap on the page. The magazines look absolutely amazing. They're so bright and vibrant. The colors and graphics look great. You scroll through um, quite nicely. It does take a second to fully refresh each page. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but if, if you notice when I switch pages, you'll see a little spin in there, and it uh, does take a second for it to fully refresh. Let's see if you guys can see that. Um, there it goes right there. So it's just literally like a split second for the, the text to become totally, you know, readable. So one of the features that makes Zinio really unique is this convert to text button at the bottom. So when you're reading a magazine, generally you'll have a lot of pictures and graphics in the article. Well, this is a rather small screen. Sometimes the pictures aren't really necessary. Sometimes you just want to get down to the nitty gritty and read the actual article. Now you can pinch to zoom and scroll around to make the text more readable, but this convert to text option is a really nice feature. All you do is tap the text button and it actually converts the entire article into a document, pulling out all the graphics. So you can read it kind of just like a book and really get down to the nitty gritty of the actual article. When you're done, just convert page and it'll go back to the normal magazine view. 
There are two other views as well. If you notice the two little icons up in the upper right hand corner, I'll tap on the first one. And again, there is a visual view of all the pages in the magazine. I can find the one I want. Let's say I was looking for an article and I knew it was on, you know, page 17, or I, I knew I wanted to read this article about living with Windows. Once I tap on it, it automatically jumps to that point in the article. The other view is more like a table of contents. It's listed by page, um, kind of, you know, with a page number and then a brief synopsis of what the article is about. And again, you can jump to the article by tapping on it anytime. And again, this is in the text view only. So the app is free. It runs both on the iPad and on the iPhone. So you can actually read magazines on your iPhone. Obviously a lot harder to do, much better experience on the iPad, but you can do it. And it is available for free in the iTunes App Store. If you have any questions about Zinio or anything else, feel free to drop me a line. Otherwise, you have a great day.